here the next time you fill up your tank in Florida, you might be able to fill up your stash box as well. For good news for weed smokers. So Florida is going to now sell weed in their gas stations. So it's starting next year, um, Circle K gas stations will now sell marijuana. Only for those who have a license can purchase these um, marijuana you know, products. So you must be legally um, you know, licensed in order to purchase these marijuana. So not everyone in anyone could just go up to the Circle K and be like, hey, give me an eighth. No. They're going to ask you, do you have your med medical card? Because Florida, they don't allow it recreationally, recreationally, whatever you want to call it, right? Meaning that you cannot just smoke it for the hell of it, for the medicinal property, benefits, for, for fun, for enjoyment. No. You must be licensed. You must have a doctor um, stating that um, something's wrong with you and they'll give you like a ID card. And this ID card essentially shows that you are allowed and verified to buy marijuana products off the shelves. Okay. And they're going to be doing this for for a while. They're going to be testing the waters because they want marijuana to be more of a mainstream product, just like tobacco and CBD has been starting to go everywhere, you know, gas stations and whatnot, uh, fucking liquor stores. And I see it everywhere too, CBD, 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 you know. So they're trying to make marijuana more of a mainstream product. CBD, on the other hand, isn't psychoactive, so it doesn't make you high. But marijuana itself, the whole plant, will make you high. So here's my concern about this new thing, gas stations selling weed. Is it ideal, is it safe, or is it dangerous? In my opinion, selling weed at a gas station isn't ideal. It is not safe, and it, and it is, in, in fact, dangerous. Because not a lot of people can handle weed. Not a lot of people can drive while high. Not a lot of people can understand the feeling between, you know, being sober and being high. So if they don't know if they can handle the situation or not, you know, that's a dangerous situation to go about, you know what I'm saying? And on the other hand, I know there are people out there who could drive completely fine while being high. I know those who are blown to the fucking mind out of this world and still able to drive, right? But it's just that percentage that don't know or don't know how to handle the marijuana effects. Because for some, you know, some people can't handle it. And others, they end up having like a panic attack or they get too high to the point where they cannot operate, right? Like literally their motor functions are impaired, right? And for some, and th their motor functions isn't as impaired as others. It's the same thing with alcohol. Some people can handle more alcohol than others and so on and so forth. So, yes, it's a big, big debate about this. But when it comes to the driver's safety and the pedestrians and stuff to that nature, is it ideal to, to do this thing? I don't think so. If you're allowed to go to a gas station and just purchase marijuana or medical marijuana, right, with that type of ease, then I believe the streets are going to be more dangerous. The drivers in the cars or the driver itself will be much more dangerous, you know, because the, the actions will speak louder than the words, right? Because while you're high, you're not completely aware of every single fucking thing, you know what I'm saying? Sure, you might have heightened senses or uh heightened like thinking because you're so high you're always thinking but you're still high you're still impaired a tad bit so that 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 tad bit will convert into more accidents i would say or more you know pedestrian hits or whatever the case might be don't get me wrong i love this idea i love how they're trying to promote and endorse marijuana to the mainstream and to the public and whatnot but when it comes to the safety of the drivers and the safety of um, pedestrians, you know, it's not a good look. Like, first off, we already banish and, and, and stress about people driving under the influence, you know, uh, drinking alcohol under the influence, you know, um, under the influence and driving, you know, do what? And, 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 you know, people can have like one or two shots and they tell cops, 
or officers say, hey, look, I'm fine. I could fucking walk on this lane and do jumpy jacks or whatever the case might be. But now when you get pulled over, or if you do get pulled over and high, like, how, the, you know, how's that going to impact the cops, the arrests, the, the situation about that, you know? Are they going to test for how high are you and whether if, if, if you are capable of driving or not? You know, how, how can police officers test for that? Because when you're drunk off your ass and once they tell you to, like, stand on one leg, if you completely fall over or if you walk in a straight line, if you can't do that, then that's kind of obvious, you know? But being drunk versus being high is completely fucking different. They're polar opposites. So I just don't understand how police officers are going to go about that, you know? Because you could look at someone's eyes and be like, damn, you faded, right? But in reality, in their own mind, they're not that faded. I don't know, it's a big old weird thing in my in my opinion. Um, I don't think it's going to go well, personally, but um, here, here, here's my thing. Now, in Florida, they're only selling it because Florida doesn't allow it re- recreationally, right? You cannot just smoke it for the ent- entertainment fun aspect. You must be licensed. You must be medically licensed to purchase these licensed weed. So with that being said, if this crosses over to all the other states, such as California and whatnot, I believe gas stations, if, if they're wanting to sell weed from a gas station, I believe they should implement the license part into that aspect. Because this prevents anyone and everyone just purchasing weed off of the, the shelves, you know, in a gas station and going about their day. Because that could be much more dangerous then you go in an actual dispensary, buying your weed, and then going home. That's the whole purpose of dispensaries. You go to the dispensary, you buy what you want to buy, or what you want, and then you go home and enjoy yourself. People don't really typically, you know, go to a dispensary, fucking buy what they want to get, you know, and, and start driving. Don't get me wrong, I do that. But uh, typically, you know, people just go home afterwards, you know? But now, if it's being sold at a gas station... It's more available to anyone and everyone, and it kind of allows them to smoke on the road, on the freeway, and stuff like that. And it's just not a good look, in my opinion. Then you got after schools, then you got during school time, I don't know, it's, the list goes on and on. Like, there's so much things I could debate about. It's, it's sad. Let me know what you guys think, and let me know if you guys smoke marijuana. And leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more.